Hello everybody, Davey GB here, and welcome to my fourth Let's Play. I'm playing Super Mario Land 2 for the Game Boy. Now, <coughs> this game and I, we have some history together. Well, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, this game and I, we've got history together. I remember getting this game, I think it was for my 11th birthday, and it was an awesome game. Like, I could not put it down. I could not believe how, like, how different it was compared to, like... I'm gonna say the Nintendo version of all the Mario Brothers games from the for the NES, and like, <clears throat> and playing the first one, because I was a huge fan of the first one. Uh, like, like I remember a lot when I got this game. I I made sure I didn't play this game until I beat the first one. So I know I know that sounds a little weird. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I just want to do them in order and stuff. I don't know. It's kind of like seeing a like like it's kind of like watching like if you haven't seen like Lethal Weapon like three. Are you gonna watch Lethal Weapon 3 by itself, or are you gonna rewatch 1 and 2 to watch Lethal Weapon 3? You know, it's something like that. I'm kind of weird that way, I guess. But, anyways, <clears throat> this Nintendo game, this Game Boy game, blew me away. I was so blown away by it. So, that's why I decided to do this Let's Play, since I already did, I believe episode 2 was Super Mario Land. I decided, why not do this? And that, uh, and, uh, oh, one up. Okay, it's done. And that's why, like, I want to do this game, right? But, like, I wanted to also do it, too, because it's such a fun, great game. And, like, everybody talks about, like, you know, how great Mario Brothers is and stuff. And, like, I've, I've seen a lot of Let's Players that they always play, like, the same games. Like, they'll, 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 eh, they'll only play the popular games. Like, Zelda or Metroid and stuff like that. And they'll Let's Play those games. So, I hope I did not join that bandwagon by doing this. But... Uh, moving on, that Billy MC, the Billy MC, the Godfather, my Godfather in in Let's Plays, the guy who inspired me to go out and do Let's Plays, and that he he did two videos on this game, and oh, and if you hit ring that bell at the, like at the end, it'll take you to, like a bonus level where you get like one ups and bonus and like power ups and stuff like that, so it's pretty sweet. Uh. He did, I, I've seen his two videos on it, and I don't want to start some kind of Let's Play Cold War here, where it's like, you know, oh, you know, this, that, and the other, oh, he's playing that game, I'm going to play that game too, and try to beat him, and stuff like that. No, I'm not, I'm not like that. Uh, it was actually one of my favorite Game Boy games, and when I saw Billy MC did a few videos on it, that's what made me actually really want to, like, to do it, so... And plus, I'm a huge fan of the game. And we're going to go with the Pumpkin. Because I love Pumpkin Zone. I don't know if Billy MC likes Pumpkin Zone. Do you guys like Pumpkin Zone? Because Pumpkin Zone is freaking amazing. Ah, oh, man. I miss Halloween. Halloween's the best. So my question to you guys is, how did you guys celebrate your Memorial Day? Or Remembrance Day if you're in Canada? Uh, I know what I did. I went out and I saw my girlfriend form in the mil in the military band and uh yeah i saw her march and everything and it was it was awesome like i rode with the band to the military base and i was there pretty much with them the entire time with my lay cat with my air cast on so i was pretty much like you know i know their crippled mascot I, I guess you could say and i especially loved the fact that the fact that they have like i, I don't know if it's from uh Minpo um, oh, what's that game? Juan Paco Graffiti? Like, it's the Splatterhouse, the Famicom version of Spl uh, the, uh, the Famicom version of Splatterhouse. <clears throat> Which was really awesome. And I did do a Let's Play on that, one of my old accounts, but that account, that account got closed for uh, copyright infringement, which is total BS. Uh, but yeah, it's like, it's like Jason Voorhees masks or like, uh, Splatterhouse, One Paco Graffiti, which is a which is an amazing game, by the way. It is an awesome game. Uh, but yeah, I love how they put that little touch in there. The, this game is just so amazing. Like, just like the sounds, the music, the background, the characters. Like, seriously, that, come on, that, that reminds me of Kid Dracula. Bell. That's that's a freaking huge fall. Like, can you imagine if you jumped to reach the bell, 
and all of a sudden you fell like two stories. Alright. Alright. Tombstones. And as a kid, I always thought that those like faces are going bleh, bleh. At first, I always thought they were like kind of like iguanas. Or maybe they're like, I don't know if you guys know what, I don't know if you guys, like, I don't know where you guys are watching this video, maybe you're in the States or something like that. But over here in Canada, I don't know if you guys have them, but we've got these, the, eh, we've got these things called Kinder Surprises. And so what it is, it's like a chocolate egg, hollowed out egg. And you get a little container, like a little plastic yellow container, like, that looks exactly like, <clears throat> exactly like that, right? Like, they're like, little, like, late, like, little egg things, right? And so, if you open up in the exact in the right way to make them actually look like it's a mouth, you gotta squeeze them together. You gotta squeeze the sides of them to do that. But I just like that always reminded me of that stuff when I was when I was playing this game as a kid, and it always made me hungry for like Kinder Surprise chocolate eggs. And I, I don't know, but like like if you guys know what I'm talking about, please do say something because I don't know. Sometimes when I'm doing these and I'm like bringing something up, I don't I don't know if anybody else gets what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, it's all good, though. I always thought those were, like, Yoshi heads. It's, like, a Halloween level, so I don't know. Maybe somebody, like, you know, bought some Yoshi masks or decided to chop off Yoshi's head. I don't know. But I always thought that when I was younger. Okay, ring the bell. That bell's, uh, well, every time you see the bell on the level that you're in, it's for uh, checkpoints. Trust me, there are many a times I played this game with that. <sighs> I never pushed that, I never rang that bell. Alright, let's get up to the pipe. Alright. <laughs> oh, you ghosts. Always trying to steal my soul. Yeah, come on. Hey, um, oh man, one up. Oh man, another one up. Damn it. <sighs> well, I wanted to die anyways. Okay, pumpkin zone. Alright, let's go back down. Alright. Let's go up. Look right through this pipe. Okay, there's one up up there, so I'm not gonna fuck it up. Part of my language. I know, I know, I know. I say part of my language a lot during my videos, but it's just, just gotta watch the language, though. You know, you know, for for the kids. Just a dinosaur. Have you guys seen Toy Story three? Now, I know I'm dating this Let's Play by asking you guys, have you seen Toy Story 3? I seen it in theaters, and I saw it again with my girlfriend at her place, and it, it like, in the theaters, I, in, when I saw it in the theaters, I hated it, because I paid to see it in 3D, and I don't know if any of you guys seen it in 3D, though, but I, I, when I saw it in 3D, I thought it was crap. Like, the 3D was just awful, uh, the 3D, it was just awful, awful 3D, and I just could not stand it. It's like, 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 nothing popped out. And I know, I know it's not, I know it wasn't real 3D. Uh, like, you know, Clyde with, a Clyde with a Side of Meatballs, which was amazing. That was a freaking amazing movie in 3D. But, like, I saw it, and I was just, like, so blown back by how crappy it was. And I just said to myself, no, this movie sucks because of it. And it was just one of those things, though, that I never really got into after I saw it in 3D, and it's totally ruined the experience for me. But then I saw it again, actually, like, last last week, and it was actually pretty good. Like, I actually really did enjoy it. And it actually rekindled my love of Toy Story, and that, actually, that, like, like, seeing that movie again made me want to go out and rebuy. Cause, well, when I was a kid, right, for Christmas, I had I got a bucket of uh, Army Men from the, from the movie, and I was so blown back by how awesome those things were, right? Because I love the army men. The army men were fucking awesome. They, they were the awesome, like, they were my, one of my favorite characters. You know, 
just like like ah, oh, just so awesome. And then the game came out, Army Men, which I know had no connection to Toy Story, but I could totally see him freaking like the guys at 3DO pumping that game out just to like you know make some quick cash off of you know the Toy Story franchise because the Army guys were were pretty big in the Toy Story franchise except for Part Three when they went a when they just like went a wall, which actually really pissed me off because I was like, dude, why would they leave like that? You know, like, like, why would they just up and run? But, like, I remember a line in that movie, though, when he was, like, and they were, like, oh, no, army guys, where are you going? Woody said, asks him, he's, like, listen, all right, when it's time for the toys to get thrown out and the plastic bag comes, the pla the garbage bag comes out, we're always the first to go. And there's only three of them left. And they're, like, they parachuted out of the window. And I was just, like, wow, that is so freaking awesome. And like those, like I always just love the army guy toys, like the army man toys. I thought those were so rude. I, I, I like them. I thought they were awesome. So yeah, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much my love of uh, army men. Like I just thought, I just thought like army men was so freaking awesome after I saw that movie and then play the games. But then alas, army man kind of went downhill. I don't know. I, got, I had Sarge's Heroes, which or Sarge's Heroes or whatever it was, but like that was a bad game. But like some of their other games, though, I remember. I remember I played it for game, one of their games on the Game Boy Color, and that was that was pretty that was pretty bad. I did not like that. I did not like that at all. All right, gotta get that ghost. Out of the, oh damn it! I mean, darn it! All right, I hate you, ghosts. I hate you more than my busted up foot. I just want to ring the bell. Oh yeah. Ring a ding ding. All right, all right, let's see. Three up, three up, come on. Yes. Sweet. All right, let's go uh, to the skull. I'm looking at the time. I do not think I'm gonna beat the witch. Oh man, I can't believe I actually remember the witch in this game. The witch is pretty awesome, actually. I, I do enjoy the witch. I also, uh, I hate the squid. Something about that damn squid always pisses me off. Ugh. Okay. Alright. Ooh, cauldrons. Alright, fire flower. Alright, let's get on the cauldron. Let's go get that. I think that's a coin. If it's only one coin, I'm gonna be ticked. Oh, sweet, why not? Okay, never mind. You know what this game needs? This game needs, like, those, like, disc faces. Like, those disc faces. Uh, when you uh, take the key from Super Mario Bros. 2, I, th I think this is like I, th I think one of the Mario games for the Game Boy needed to have those characters. That, that character, in. I think that character would be freaking awesome. Can you imagine just like like grabbing a key or grabbing like a coin, and, like the coin from after you defeat the boss, and you like and after after like after you get the coin, you have to like quickly like escape. Through this, like the last, like the level, like the boss level again, like this level again, like, and you have to dodge those like circle faces and stuff like that. Sure, it'd be a little bit annoying though, but I, I think that'd be pretty sweet. Well, we're coming out of time on my Let's Play Super Mario Land Two Let's Play. Uh, this is part one. I want to say this is Davy GB. Thank you for watching. It's always a pleasure to do these videos and knowing that I have people that watch them. And I would like to say, yes, having five subscribers, my subscriber base has risen from two to five, and I ha and I have another friend. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, this is David GB signing off, saying thank you for watching. Have a good night, and uh, yeah. So with, I don't really know what else to say, but.
But thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, comment. Uh, if you guys want me to play a game, please suggest it, and I'll most likely do it. So, see you guys. Bye.